Howdy folks, it's your boy, back with your boy Big Dog here again and today we're going to talk about uh, the old infamous DLP television uh, it's a digital light projector uh, basically what it is is a projection TV that uses a single lens at the bottom and there's a screen and there's a mirror on the back it has a slight back on it and there's a mirror in the back um, in which the lens at the bottom projects onto the mirror and that projects to the screen okay now now a lot of you new guys new, newcomers to this industry are probably not too familiar with uh, DLP TVs uh, but besides uh, changing the lamp and that's really about the only thing that really goes wrong with these sets uh, are the lamp uh, you have to change the lamp about every two to four years depends how much you watch it it should last about three to four um, and um, one thing about these TVs is the, when you replace the lamp, uh, you have to use a good quality lamp. Uh, some people go on um, on the internet and start buying those twenty and thirty dollar lamps. Uh, they're not going to last long, okay? And the reason that they're blowing out, and the reason that you, if you buy a regular lamp and it's not, and it's, it, it, it's not it doesn't last as long as the one that you had before, the original one, is because uh, the actual fans uh, inside the TV. Are dirty they actually use a fan for the lamp which is the main fan that you have to clean and uh, they also use a fan for the DMD board and they also may have an intake fan okay so uh, just to give you a little hint uh, for right now you can see uh, you probably can't tell on camera but the picture is kind of dark here so I do have a replacement lamp uh, that's the first thing we're going to do uh, actually this TV was uh, uh, someone at my wife's job uh, uh, gave her to her and put it in the trunk and, and you know I guess uh, he figures since I was a TV man, he could, uh, I would, you know, I, I could fix it, you know, you know, uh, you know, give it to you and sell it or whatever. So, and uh, it was working. He said it was working. He just needed a lamp, so it was right. I guess he didn't have enough room for it. I guess he got tired of replacing lamps in it. Okay, and the main reason is I'm just going to show you uh, why he's probably replacing lamps uh, twice a year. Okay, let's get this going around here. Zoom on in on that. Is look at all the dirt on the outside of the vents. Okay, this is the back cover, and these are the air vents. And when you see dust on there. Uh, you're going to have a huge problem, okay? And basically, it's like that uh, all the way around the TV. Over on that side, all the vents are clogged up. So I'm just going to imagine what the fan looks like uh, on the inside of the TV, okay? And that's the most likely the reason that uh, his lamps were going out uh, every, like, four or five months. He had to replace a lamp. So it's probably a combination of them buying cheap lamps, you know, those lamps, you know, that are, like, 20 bucks. Uh, it's good to buy an Osram lamp or a Neolux is okay. Uh, those are probably the best lamps that you can buy, but it's not going to really matter if the fans on the inside are dirty because they're not getting cool enough, okay, and they're constantly running hot. Okay, as you can see, this is the back of the TV. Oh, and by the way, this is a uh, Samsung 50-inch uh, DLP, so HLS 5086, uh, uh, made in 2007. You must actually see the sticker there. There we go, 5086, manufactured in 2007. But uh, actually, look at the dust uh, that's accumulated all over the cover. It's like that all the way around. Okay, there's a lot of dust there. And we just go ahead and pull the uh, back cover off. Okay. So that's pretty dusty. And uh, right off the back, that fan right there. Okay, um, that is that is unacceptable. Okay. And then, now that's the one fan, that's the fan for the uh, DMD board. It's actually a circuit board uh, back here. 
which actually holds the what they call the DLP chip. Uh, I don't know if you had a, a DLP and you got white dots all over the screen. Okay, that's the chip that's uh, all the way inside of here. And uh, it's, it's kind of labor intensive to get out once that happens. But the main reason why that happens is because over the years, uh, the chip is over, is like, you know, heating ab above normal, uh, you know, operating uh, temperature, okay? So that's the main reason of that. And the main fan that we want to check on this here is, um, zoom out here, is the fan for the actual lamp, okay? So we're just going to have to pull this lamp out of here. Okay, uh, the lamp fan for this one is actually uh, in the back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the entire uh, light engine here out. Okay, with these two bolts and screws right here. We're gonna unscrew this here. Okay, this is the DM. This is the DVI cable that has gone to the DVD board. I'm sorry, going to the uh, DMB board. Okay, want to screw that. And what else is connected? Um, well, let's see if we can pull it out. Okay, sorry about that. As you can see, I cut myself. Uh, so this, this goes to show you, you have to be kind of careful when you're taking these apart. I was trying to look at the camera and, um, you know, do this at the same time. But uh, I did get both of these screws out. Okay, shine a little light on the subject there. And um, and so we'll go ahead and pull it out. I've got a connection here to our ballast from the power supply. Okay, pretty much the way this works, we have a power supply on this side. Okay, um, uh, this is your DMD board. Uh, this is your main board over here where all the jacks are at right here. This is your main board up under there. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much about it. Uh, the actual lens is on top. Actually, when I pull it out here, it's going to show you the lens. Okay, uh, I just turned, <laughs> I forgot the rule on the plugs, okay, make sure you get both of these, if you got this particular set, make sure you take both of these plugs off, okay, I had to actually solder this plug back because I forgot about it, been so long since I worked on one of these, but anyway, turn to the side here, now look at this fan here, that fan is for the lamp, okay, and what happens is when all that dirt gets on there, all that dust, it not only slows the RPMs of the fan down, but it also is not as much air coming through there, okay? And as you can see, this is where we pull, the, the pull our lamp out. Our lamp goes right in here, okay? So that is the actual fan for the lamp, okay? Look at that. That is totally unacceptable. So what we're going to use here is a, uh, what did I do with it? There we go. I'm going to blow these fans out, okay? Now, a lot of DLP's models will not be as complicated as this one, because a lot of times you get, you're, you're uh, take the back cover off, and the fans will be right there looking at you, especially the lamp fan, or just pull the lamp out, and the, the lamp will actually be facing you. Um, you know, you won't have to pull the light engine down and, and turn it to the side. Uh, but uh, what I've got here is just a regular blower, and actually this came from an uh, air mattress. Okay, uh, this works excellent when you use this in the customer's houses. They're like, you know, fascinated, like, oh wow, you know, and they really appreciate that you actually clicked it out. And uh, I'm just gonna hook it up here, and we're just gonna blow that stuff right off of there.
toothbrush and kind of clean the excess. Yeah, this has never been cleaned before, I see. Okay, turn this around and clean the DMV fan. pretty much about it. Just any excess dust just scraped off of the toothbrush like on this heat sink behind here. This actually is the heat behind this fan is actually the heat sink uh, for the DLP chip. Okay that's one with all the mirrors in it and so you can prevent the TV from coming on and start with one white dot and then eventually you got about a, a thousand of them okay. And so that's it just to give you a pretty much rundown on um, you know keeping these things going longer, keeping the lamp life better and um, you know, keeping these things out the recycle bin, pretty much. Okay, and uh, a lot of these uh, sets will have three fans actually. Uh, this one, I'm not, I don't think it has one because it would be pretty much present. But on uh, the Mitsubishi, they actually have an intake fan, which is like a little cylinder fan. Okay, and it's like up in here, right up over the fan. But uh, mainly, just clean the DMD fan and the lamp fan, uh, and uh, you put your lamp in there, and uh, you should be all set. Okay. And your lamp should last at least, if you get a decent lamp, okay, not one of those bootleg ones, you know, for 40 bucks. You get a decent lamp, uh, you should have about three, four good years out of the TV, uh, no matter how often that you watch it, okay? All right. Okay, uh, as you can see here, our TV is uh, much brighter. Um, uh, and I'll put a new lamp in it, and um, looks pretty damn good. I also cleaned the remote. Had to pull it apart and clean the uh, little pads inside. Someone has spilled something over. And uh, my suggestion to you is, uh, if you change the lamp and uh, you do not know what you're doing, please do not attempt to clean the fans. Pull the light engine out and clean the fans yourself. Uh, hire a professional. Uh, they shouldn't charge that much. Come out and clean it. Uh, especially if you need a lamp and uh, you call and you call someone to come out and change your lamp. Uh, make sure that they do clean your fans. Okay. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know. It's going to last about two or three months, and, um, and, and you know, you're going to be highly upset, right? Uh, the Mitsubishi 73-inch DLPs, okay, which are very nice. Uh, when you clean the fan, I mean, I'm sorry, when you change the lamp, you definitely have to clean those fans because I've had times I put a lamp in there, and it lasted two weeks, okay? And uh, that was some years ago, but that's how I, how I found out that the fans uh, have to be cleaned on whenever you change the lamp. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, please comment below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, a like, and until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.